Hey, so we had a great sermon at church yesterday, and I just wanted to share the main message with you because it's something I kind of struggled with in definition, and I think a lot of people do too. A lot of people aren't completely sure, I think, how to really have a relationship with Jesus. A lot of people live on a visual realm, you know, they live on this earth where everything worldly is visual and physical. And they don't know how to have a relationship with God when his spirit is here. But the sermon was about worship. You see, worship is what you aim your attention and your affection, your focus at. So think about that terminology and think about what you're showing your attention to daily, your affection. Are you aiming your worship at your phone? Are you aiming your worship at your family? Are you aiming your worship at worldly things? Aiming your worship at worldly things is not only idolization, but it leaves you broken because if a family member doesn't do what you want them to or passes away or leaves for college, it leaves you broken. If you lose that thing that you're worshiping, that thing that you're putting your focus and attention on, it breaks you. But when you put your attention and your focus and your worship towards God, God will never leave you. This is why you become stronger. So keep that in mind um, when it comes to prayer. You know, for me, kind of my worship is best utilized when I'm kind of just sitting down kind of in my zone and I'm truly, truly speaking to God. Whereas some people, their worship is more outwardly and dancing and singing is their way of praying. And don't get me wrong, I do that too. But that doesn't really give me my time, my quality time with Jesus. So think about it in that term when you're thinking of a relationship. If you were in a personal relationship with somebody and you didn't give them your focus, your attention, or how often you actually did it, how would that relationship be? Sometimes when you can compare a physical relationship with somebody on this world, that's what Jesus wants with you. So talking to him, seeing him, even just spending some silent time with him, he's there. I hope this helps somebody. Um, Please let me know in the comments if it does. I just had to share because I think that message truly um, hit me in the right spot yesterday.